Louise Martin, I'm a tapestry weaver. It's a project to weave all the seven images that make up the series called The Hunt of the Unicorn, which are an interpretation of a set that were woven 500 years ago and are going to be housed in Stirling Castle. Well, it's an 11 and a half year project and we're nine and a half years in. So there's a team here on site weaving the tapestries so the public can see it being made. They are actually pieces that are going to hang for hundreds of years and that the public can see all the processes from making the cartoon to sampling, to warping up, to weaving, to finishing it off and lining it. It's been a great opportunity in terms of looking at medieval tapestries. So the original were woven about 500 years ago and are now housed in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And part of the project is that we can go out and research and look at the original tapestries. But when the lights come on and shows how just what a fabulous set they were, they were a very, very good example of what weaving was all that time ago and we're basically colour matching what we're seeing today things have faded over the years I use what we colour match in New York as a real baseline there is scope for us to change things so basically so it doesn't look like an old tapestry at the end of it there's lots of pinks that look quite dirty but on the back they're really fresh they're almost like you know a sickly sweet pink and we can put that back the weavers have a relationship to the weaving and the people who work on on site have a relationship but they're also the public have had quite a relationship over the years and feel like it's theirs you know they'd really talk about it being theirs as if they'd they'd worked on it and that that's lovely as well I mean, here on site, we're, we're weaving for about three and a half years on one individual piece. But uh, but at home, I, I do other pieces, very, very different. But what binds them is, is a real interesting technique and good technique. I love the fact that people can come here and they can see tapestry being made. But I'm also very interested that they see contemporary pieces being made and they understand that it can be on a domestic scale, you know, that it can be in their homes, they can afford to afford to have it unlike medieval times when it really was for the rich and the wealthy to come and see and they would show off with the, with their tapestries show how much money they had really when you work with a team it's different to weaving independently on your own so in this instance we're weaving a medieval tapestry so we need to learn the techniques that were woven at that period of time because you're weaving with two other people you need to make sure that we're all weaving similarly as well but you don't want it to be too structured and too too flat because you want people to to love it and that love will then go into the piece itself and the energy will go into it so it's just a fine sort of balanced juxtaposition between doing what you need to do in terms of contractually but also allowing each of the three weavers in this instance to put their own personality into it and that works with each other and brings life and energy so in some respects it's it's work and it's you know it's business and you're in nine to five and there's a structure and there's a there's a quota to do and there's a deadline to do but at the same time you just can't do it without your heart and loving it you know and that and that then coming through onto the piece we would talk about aura sometimes and whether a piece has an aura has a, a feeling about it and I think if you really love it and love doing it that does sort of then transcend through and people get that feeling from it as well